Right, when you last bought your set of irons, the likelihood is you had to make a little bit of a compromise. And those compromises would be based around what you ultimately want in the perfect scenario and what you ended up with. And let me give you an example. I like to think that I'm an half decent player, but I also like a bit of forgiveness in my irons. So I have to make a compromise in the sort of profile that I choose. And I think I could list many, many compromises that you have to make when choosing a set of irons. But I think what I've got in front of me right now is an iron from Mizuno and an iron from Callaway, where those compromises are very minimal, if at all. And what I want to see is, what is the difference between these two irons? That's another decent strike, and to be honest with you, that one was with the 223. I've hit basically short irons, mid irons, and long irons with both these sets of clubs. And normally at this point in a head-to-head, -head, I'd spend a lot of time talking about dry ball data and how one club is different to the other in terms of performance. But I'm not going to do that in this video. And that's because they basically perform very, very similar indeed. And the only difference that I've seen in terms of data is where my swing has been different. But overall performance, this just shows yet again one of the great similarities of these two clubs. And there's nothing to split them in terms of performance. So when you've got a situation when performance is so similar, then I think you're then down to the sort of, uh, well, the personal bits, I suppose, when it's kind of like sound and feel and the kind of looks. And that's a key factor for me in any decision anyway. You know, I think you sort of, first of all, buy with your eyes and like what you see. I think what Apex have done, they've, they've stuck with a kind of shape that has been around for a few years now. They've repeated it. It's been a very successful model for them, and I suppose if it's that kind of thing, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it kind of mentality, maybe. But I think it's starting to look maybe a little bit dated now, and maybe it's not even so much dated, it's just in time for a change, I think, maybe for the Apex, there's a little bit of a change up. But in the 223, I love this old style in lettering of Mizuno Pro, first of all. But forgetting that, cavity back iron, lots of chrome, looks really well. But it's more about the profile than the shelf appeal looks for me where, again, the 223 just seems to nick it. And what they've done really well with this Mizuno Pro range, whichever, um, in terms of the 221, 223 or 225, they've slimmed down the profile of all of these, particularly that 225 and 223, where they've become really neat and tidy, but still very playable, if you like. And if you have a look at the sort of at address position now, you'll notice that there's a very much different top line between these two irons, even though I would have definitely put them in the same category, very noticeably different. And the fact that you can see again at address, even only in the seven iron, just a little bit of the back end of the apex is the kind of thing that maybe the kind of the player who's looking, oh, the, the player who's looking for the player's iron doesn't like to see that. They've managed to hide it away in the two, hide away the kind of, that the, the kind of bulk that gives you the confidence is hidden. Whereas in the Apex, you can still see it. So for me, if I'm looking at shelf appeal, and then I'm looking at address, and then I'm looking at kind of uh, top line, and even so much as the sole place, then for me, the 223 gets it. But it gets it on what I like to see in address. And that mightn't be what you like to see. So for me, a head-to-head -head is all about finding out the differences between clubs. And uh, one of the major differences is the fact that Mizuno split the set in terms of how they're manufactured. So let me explain. Eight through to pitching wedge is a forged iron. Very much exactly the same as what they've got in their 221 range in, their, um, in their, their forged player's iron. But then from a seven through to four iron, they introduced that material chromoloy into the face. Now, what chromoloy is effectively trying to do is give you a little bit more forgiveness, but also a little bit more in terms of ball speed. But it's a different material, so therefore, are you going to notice a difference in terms of sound and feel between when you go from an 8-iron into your 7-iron? I'm not really sure I like that idea, so I don't know how close they've done in terms of being able to match those two things up. But for me, if you say nothing feels like a Mizuno when it's a true forged iron, but then your 7-iron changes into a different material, then surely there's got to be a change, a noticeable change. And then with the Apex, obviously, it's very much exactly the same through the set. So it's a forged body with a bit of tungsten waiting in there. So you're expecting a more consistent sound from the two. What I'm gonna do first of all, I'm just gonna play for you some recorded audio. I've dropped the mic down to the floor. I've recorded some seven irons first of all, 
for you to compare. So the first three are going to come from the Apex, the second three will come from the 223 and see if you can notice a audible difference. Now it's worth pointing out that audio is recorded using range balls and I'll comment further when we get on the course with these a bit later on. But I'm also going to just play these nine irons as well because that's again where don't forget these now are the forge club within the 223 and obviously we've still got exactly the same makeup in that of the apex. So let's just see if we can find any audible differences between these two nine irons. Now I don't know what you heard out there but certainly we've got two sets of ears in here which I asked Hannah again could she notice a difference and it was quite a difference. So in the seven irons I've got to be honest not a great deal to split them but when it gets down to the nine irons then the, yes there is a massive difference. All of a sudden you do get that much softer feel out of the 223 and there's a lot louder um, almost hollow sound again that comes out of this of the apex so a big big difference in that end of the bag and I suppose arguably what Mizuno have done they've put that sort of sound and feel that you want in the shorter irons in your scoring irons and perhaps logically then introduce that other material into the irons where we need a bit more help so in terms of sound and feel I would certainly at this stage I will comment a little bit further when we get on the course at this stage very much the 223 that would be the better sounding and feeling of the two irons. So the purpose of this video is to find out the differences between these two clubs and price is one of those things that differs and just scrolling through the internet I've just found out that the 223 when we first did the review a couple of weeks ago of the new Mizuno Pro range we only had RRP prices so never knew what they were going to be when they arrived at retail so the 223 is now being sold at £152 per club in terms of uh, UK British pounds and the Callaway Apex is now down to 142 but that's a bit of a change because I think when they originally brought out the Apex they were a lot more expensive than that but there is literally £10 to split them in cost and I think in all honesty if you're buying seven irons at 70 quid I don't think you'd perhaps be swayed one way or the other when you're spending a thousand pound on a set of irons based on just saving 70 pound so it's still down to other things other than price. Someone's gone in. Familiar. Well, the one good thing to report there that the yardage that we've seen in terms of dry ball data has pretty much resonated iron on a course exactly the same to the pin, and I think they both travel very, very similar. The one thing I will say yet again is for me, I think it's the it's the sound that's probably better from the two two threes. So these are two seven irons that I've just played by the way so don't forget this is not the forged end of the bag in terms of the truly forged end of the bag in terms of the two two threes. So there's a lot more similarities in these two seven irons but like I said it's the sound that's probably better and not the feel and there is a difference between the two but I would say that overall it just feels that little bit softer coming out of the uh, two two three in these two seven irons. I just want to finish off by hitting a couple of short irons and seeing how that truly forged club in the 223s, how much sound differs out here on the course. That's where the difference is massive. Is that going to be enough? Oh, yeah half decent pulled the first one the first shot I played was with the apex and forgetting where the result was the difference in these two yet again more so than ever at this end is the short end that was two nine irons so don't forget 
the iron I just played, that is a grain flow forged, proper forged iron, if you like. I always say in these videos, not a big deal to everybody, but for me, I really like the feel of a forged iron, and you can tell the difference, but you can tell the difference between this 9 iron and the 7 iron in this set. I'm not sure I'm overly keen on that and why they introduced the chrome alloy. I kind of, my summary would be, I kind of understand that bit, so that extra bit of help, if you like, with ball speeds at that tougher end of the bag, certainly 4 and 5 iron. I suppose I could get that, but I much prefer the feel that comes out that 9 iron. The overall summary would be that the 223 kind of ticks more boxes now than the Apex did, and I thought the Apex was a fantastic iron. So I just think they've done an incredibly good job with what they've put together in these 223s. It's a real interesting iron. It's a massive challenge to that Apex and anything that you think that might sort of fit in and around that sort of profile. Not really played anything better. And like I said, the only thing for me, I just wish that that 7 iron felt as good as that 9 iron did. Other than that, the performance out, both clubs have been really, really good. And I suppose, like I said, a lot of these things where you've seen the differences have been down to personal preferences. But I do think putting everything together, the 223 from this Mizuno Pro range certainly edges it. And it's a bit of a, it's a decent set of irons, you know. Anyway, right, as ever, I'm done. Thank you for uh, Carden Park for allowing us to use this facility again. It's been in great condition out here on the course as well. Surprisingly, how dry it is, uh, considering how much rain we've had here in the UK. So, enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed all the testing. As ever, we've done our very best to get inside, out on the course, really put it through its paces and give you a fair evaluation of the two clubs. Right, comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all very soon.